All right, guys. Um, this is gonna be the last video for the for the second batch of tutorials. Um, and it might be a, a bit longer than the others. Um, we're gonna talk about the the ranking of the actual teams in the top level uh, meta. So, you know, if you you've been living under a rock, you might not know these rankings, <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna run with that as that assumption, right? That you've been under a rock. So, uh, the two best teams in the game are on screen. You have MSP, Max Storm Psylocke, and you have Santhrax, Storm Sentinel Commando. Um, Thrax can also be played Sentinel Storm Commando, right? Um, there's two different orders. So, what makes uh, these two teams the best? Now, now, there's always a debate which team is better here. Uh, is MSP number one or is Santhrax number one? Um, I'm not going to say what I think. I play both teams. They're both BS. So, But they're really, really close together, right? So whichever team you pick here, one of them is the best team in the game. So we're going to put number one and number two as these two teams. But let's talk about MSP really quickly. What makes MSP really good? Uh, it's the best offensive team in the game right um it's really really cheap now msp does not have a great neutral assist but it makes up for that in speed it makes up for it on easy confirms with side blade and um it it makes up for it in like undermining other teams and what do i mean by undermining right so psylocke one of the the most powerful things in the game is a snapback because when you snap in the opponent's assist character they have to eat a guard break so you know just do that easy confirm guard break into infinite and we uh we kill we kill commando before he gets a chance to play right so um msp is, is really really cheap uh it's the best offensive team in the game and also it's not that bad on defense because of side blade right it, this team makes it that people who approach you have to put you in block stun before they can approach you because if they don't they're gonna eat a side blade and then they're gonna lose their entire team for it so um sloppy sloppy offense is going to lose versus msp if they try to approach you rec recklessly right um so you have the best offensive team in the game with the ability to not be approached by sloppy offense because they're going to eat a side blade and they're going to die for it uh you have speed you have safety eight c's you know um all the characters they synergize really well together yeah i'm like why why are my hands so trash but um yeah msp is really really strong so there's a lot more to msp um, but that's probably like a, they're a, a dedicated video to MSP. But in a nutshell, it's strong because of those reasons that I that I mentioned before. So let's take a look at Santhrax. Um, what makes Santhrax strong? It controls neutral really, really well, right? So you have Storm Drones. Uh, she controls a horizontal uh, axis there. You have Cap, who controls the vertical, so you can play, you can control the entire screen with this team. So what you're seeing here is ultimate offense versus ultimate defense, and that's why the argument is so heated between all these players for 20 years. Because if you're a defensive team, you're gonna think, ah, oh, it's not fair that I get hit one time by MSP and die. And if you're an offensive player, you're gonna think, well, it's not fair that you control the entire screen. And if I get hit one time, I die. Um, I will, I, I lose a character, right? So the argument, there's a lot of viability to both sides. But um, yeah, these two teams on the screen are the best. Now, one of the things that Santhrax has going for it is um the ability to start both storm sent um so if you start storm you want to play for the dhc right you want to do that to that it's a dead character right so that's what you play for if you start storm and if you start sentinel 
we can play for fly combos. Whoops, messed that up. Mess it up again. We can play fly combos, zoning, and big uh big damage. So yeah, it there's two really viable orders to Santrax. Now one thing I, I actually failed to mention about MSP2 is uh, the first attack situation and we'll make a video on first attack but um, pretty much Magneto starts the match in the most favorable favorable position to him in the beginning of the game which is up close to the, to the opponent so, and because of the switch glitch which again we'll go over later um, it's really easy to open up some characters like Storm so off the beginning of the match the Santrax team can lose the entire game because they guessed incorrectly. So the fix for that is usually to start Sentinel, but you do lose the Storm Sent DHC um, if you do that. But yeah, the, you know, we're, we're getting into some semantics there, but it is relevant. So MSP and Anthrax are the one and two best teams in the game. Um, what's number three? Uh, number three is probably you know let's let's pick number three and four um i'm gonna i'm gonna say number three is probably mss which is max storm sentinel and um one of the things about mss is that you can either play it with drones or you can play a rock punch and then the team after that uh, that that's where it gets rough, right? So we'll probably cut the video after that. But um, it's probably Team Matrix or Storm Send Cable, one of those two. Uh, we'll we'll go with Matrix just to shout out Justin Wong, um, because he made the team work, even though it's clearly not the best team in the game, right? So why is MSS number three I think and and again this is my opinion right um some people feel like Max Storm Psych might be number three I I think it's MSS um and one of the reasons is that the team has longevity right you obviously you don't have an anti-air there's no anti-air on the scene you have ty you have typhoon and you have drones right but drones kind of makes up for not having an anti-air because you can play around the neutral with the drones. Also, you have safe DHCs from everybody. Mac and DHC in a storm, storm into scent, sent into storm, you know, sent into mag sometimes. Um, it's really, really like, it's just it's never. We always say this in Marvel in in Marvel Two that MSS is never dead. You always gonna have to if you have two characters, you can always come back into the game, right? So if Mag doesn't perform well on MSS, let's say your Magneto gets smoked, he dies in the beginning, you still have the Storm Sent DHC to bail you out. Storm Sent is the best duo in the game. So yeah, MSS is really strong because of the longevity of the team. Um, but of course it comes at the cost of having a reliable anti-air so it's prone to getting rushed down by MSP it's also prone to getting rushed down by Santrax so keep that in mind now let's talk about number four storm set Cyclops this is called team matrix I have no idea why <laughs> Chris matrix uh, named the team but this is this team uh, was made famous by Justin Wong because he won all of those evos and uh in his five year in his five year win streak um he's the greatest player of marvel 2 and he played this team right um and he played this team and he beat a lot of the best msps he beat a lot of the best santhraxes with this team and this team lacks a lot in terms of assist cyclops is not a great assist like captain commando was clearly better than psych but justin made it work um psych is very inconsistent the team can't can't really stop runaway that effectively because psych uh doesn't go all the way up in the air and it kind of struggles fighting really really good msps because um the cyclops counter call isn't really 
a huge deal versus a, a really really good MSP. Um, so yeah, the team struggles, but what what does it excel at? It has Storm Scent. Um, that's that's Storm Scent, and you have good pressure in the corner with a uh, sight, right? So you you can like get cool block block strings, extend your turn. Um, the scent pressure is really good, you know. Easy easy confirms when when it hits in the corner. So like if Psych hits here, it's a free uh free corner combo and so unblockable. Um the guard breaks are pretty good. You can do snap into this. And that's a free confirm and so unblockable. So um yeah, like the team has utility, but you kinda have to be in a corner to set up most of it. Other than that, if you're not in the corner, you have to play Immaculate Neutral. And um, you got to struggle a little bit versus Santhrax and MSP. Right? Um, after that, what other teams do we have? We have like Storm Sand Cable, which might be fifth. Then you have Team Row, which is Mag, Cable Scent, or Scent, Cable Mag. The, the thing about Team Row is that it struggles because there's no good way to get characters in and out the match. Uh, it's, it's it's like it's fun, but it's not good at any particular thing. So Team Row isn't that great. Then you have Team Scrub. Team Scrub is probably like better than Team Row to be honest. Um, which is Cable Sentinel Commando. Um, again, you you start to see a trend here. Those teams, when they get snapped, uh, they have trouble getting back in the match. So the thing about Team Scrub is if you get snapped back, you can't really get your characters back in the match. Um, so. What else, what other teams do you have? Then you have the trap teams, right? You have like Strider Doom, Strider Doom Sentinel. Well, I, the correct order is Sentinel Strider Doom. Um, then you have Ducks team, Spiral, uh, Cable Sentinel, the trap teams. Those are like character specialist teams, and again, they also have the same trouble. They can't get characters in and out the match. Uh, but they do have their strengths. Um, but I'm not I'm not well versed enough to really give a, a breakdown on trap teams. But anyway, anyway, guys, I just wanted to touch on the top tier teams and um, give you the reason why some of these teams are top tier. And um, you know, hopefully, hopefully these explanations help you pick a team if you're looking to play this game competitively. Um, and like like I said in, in the other videos, I know that there are a lot of characters repeating here, but uh, the way the game is structured, you can really pick a team and make make it your own based on your style, right? So um, don't be deterred by the top tier meta, even though you see the same characters over and over again. Um, pick up the game, start playing. And maybe, who knows, maybe you really, really like the options that these characters uh, present because they are really, really versatile and they allow allow for you to play the game the way you want to, to play it. So you could play a lame Magneto or you could play a fast Magneto. You could play a lame Sentinel or you could play a fast one, you know. Um, just play how you want, man. And And... You don't even have to pick top tier, you know. If you wanna, if you wanna get into this game and you wanna play low tier, go for it. Just know that you're gonna struggle. <laughs> Just know you're gonna struggle versus the gods. Um, but yeah, guys, that's gonna conclude the wave two tutorials. I will be back maybe next week with the ten minute tutorials for Max Storm Scent Cable, and maybe I'll even throw Iron Man in there. We'll see. Um, that'll be the next batch. And after that, um, kind of running out of things to talk about here. So I'll put up another community post. Maybe you guys can give me some feedback. And then uh, then we'll go from there. Um, the thing the thing about Marvel 2 is really hard to, to make these videos because the training mode just isn't there, right? But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. And... Please be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. You know, trying to get to a thousand subs at least. Um, putting putting in some work here. And hopefully you guys appreciate that. So I'll see you guys on the next batch of videos. And sorry for the wait. But yeah, we'll be, we'll be back next time. Thanks. Peace.